What was the thinking? Say, you guys say it again. A four-four-three defense to start the oh, game. Oh, just um. Thinking? Well, I've kind of told you guys all along without really giving things away. Based on what personnel groups they have, we have different packages. They came out in two backs, one tight end. They came out in two tight ends, two backs. They came out in a lot of two receiver sets. So at that point, instead of having Sean in, who's been in a lot, we took him out and put an extra linebacker in. You know, we figured this game would be kind of like an inside run drill. You know, so we wanted the backers to defend the run and the DBs to do the pass. So it's, again, it's kind of like I've been saying. We, We've had things, we just haven't used them yet. And Chase Young at times dominated. Yeah. I mean, you, you had a great view of it. Uh, what, yeah. did, what did you see today? Was that just remarkable? The same thing, right? His get off, um, his speed, his quickness, and just everything we see every day in practice. He did a great job. We moved him around a little bit. I thought Coach Johnson did an awesome job, and he had four sacks. That's pretty impressive. That whole D line, guys, honestly, we challenged the D line today just because we knew what kind of game this would be, and our D line was awesome today. You held that back to 50 yards. I mean, that's a credit to all the coaches and the guys up front and everybody out there. Jeff, what went into the decision on the snaps you guys stood chase up and what did you think you got out of that? Well, uh, again, it's we're going to have to start moving him around and being more creative because everybody knows who he is, right? So if we always line him up to the left, they can slide to him, they can chip him. If we line him up to the right, they can slide to him, put the back on him, chip him. But now if we start moving him around a little bit, we can kind of put him where we want him and then we have to make them adjust. So. Again, I thought it was a good plan by the staff, and he executed well. You mentioned Chase four sacks. There's a lot of ways he impacts the play that doesn't show up on the stats. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, just like kind of like what we just said, right? They want to slide everybody to over him. I mean, we brought a corner today. We brought other people away from him. So it just sets up a lot of other one-on-ones that you have. Because the rest of the D-linemen are really good, too. So it gives them a lot of one-on-ones. How hard is it for them to, I mean, you're missing John Cooper today. Yeah. You've been missing Teron Vincent for basically all season. Like, how big is it for the defensive line to just be able it's to It's huge. Next it's, up? it's, I, I cannot say enough about the D-line, Coach Johnson, and what they've done and what they did today. That was, to me, that sent a message to the whole entire country about who our D-line is. You guys are done with me already. <laughs> Jack, to Cone, uh, to get after him the way that you guys did yeah. and, and, and sack him five times, just uh, did you foresee the, the ability, the, the chance to get that kind of pressure on you? Well, I, if you asked me that before the game, I would have said it would have been a lot of quick game, a lot of sprint out, a lot of boot, and try to get, it, get rid of the ball quick. Um, you hoped if we got him in a situation to pass that we would. Um, and if they were going to drop back and throw the ball, we felt good about our pressure. So I, I would hope that we would. Uh, Hilliard, I think he had a big, maybe even a third or fourth down stop for yeah. you guys. Just uh, to go in and play that role, just to, and to play it as well as he did. I don't know what was your thought. Incredible. I mean, yeah. you look at a guy who came back from an Achilles injury as fast as he did, kind of waited his time because we haven't had to use this package yet, right? Mm -hmm. Waited this time and able to get in the game and play as well as he did with as many snaps. It's a credit to him um, and for the guys getting ready to play. But I'm so proud and happy for him because he really deserves that. Coach, what happens to a quarterback when he's got Chase Young on the other side and been just coming all game long? I just think we're bigger guys shake. Yeah, I think it speeds up his clock. He doesn't feel comfortable setting his feet. He's constantly aware of where that guy is, so he can't keep his eyes down the field. And I think it makes it really hard. It makes us cover better. Yeah. Jeff, how long did it take you when you got here yeah. to know this defense was this good athletically and to have the stuff inside? To do something like this today? It's a good question. Um, you kind of saw glimpses of it in training camp against a really, really good offense. Um, and then, you know, as we've gotten to the season, they've kind of gotten better and better. And as we've played some really good teams, it's kind of starting to flash, especially like today, chasing those guys up front. I mean, we knew that it would be a challenge. That's a really good team. They're really well coached. They're good up front. To me, they have such a good scheme, especially in the run game. Um, so it, it's been impressive. And how, and how can you improve? Twitch of Chase. You just keep you just keep working and stay on him. Yeah. I mean, you got you'd have to ask Coach Johnson yeah. that question, but I think he again. I've said this many times. I think he's one of the best that there is, Coach Johnson. And the, if you came and watched practice and you ch and you saw Chase practice, you would see the same thing. So that's why he shows up on game day. We good? Chase Last question. That kind of performance in a game like this, Ryan talked about big players step up in big games. How important is that when you're in a game with this against a team like Wisconsin for Chase Young to step up and have that kind of It's huge. The biggest game that you have so far in the season 
that's when the big players have to step up. And that's true. Ryan said it best. Big players make big plays in big games, and that's what he did today. I mean, guy played unbelievable in a really big stage, in a really big game against, in my opinion, a really good football team. So you got to give him a ton of credit. Coach, thank you very much.